how many, I'm just curious how many schools you applied to and with Stanford your number one kind of thing? Good, um, this is a big deal for people that know Stanford yeah. is a big deal. It's, a, it's an amazing school. It was always my number one since I was a sophomore in high school. Wow. Um, but I actually only ended up, I, I applied early to Stanford, okay. early action, and so I was really fortunate to find out earlier. My senior year was mm -hmm. a lot less stressful because of that. Um, but I also applied to, let's see, Vanderbilt, Duke, and Center. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really, you know, casting my net pretty wide. I, I love sports, so I wanted a school that had a good sure. something team yeah. um, and that was good at academics. So that was sort of, that was sort of my, my so thought how did they So how did they let you know? Did they email you? Did you get a nice they letter? They email you, and then um, it's really cool. A current student at the school also calls you to, to let you know. That's so cool. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, we ought to get a copy of that email. I'd like <laughs> yeah, to add that was, in there. My mom cried, of course. Of so course, it was, it was of fun. course. Now this is at Stanford. Looks like something you're no, doing. No, that's in Spain, oh, but I'm it's sorry. with Stanford. Okay. Yeah. So, but we're all wearing Stanford stuff. So that's my roommate Elise, who just started med school. She's amazing. That's this great. was us at the end of the Camino de Santiago, okay. um, at, and that's in Spain. So we were both studying abroad together. That's great, and I love it. Portrait of you. Yeah. And what was so, this done for? This is a St. Francis. Picture. Like I said, very artsy, creative mm -hmm. school. Um, I certainly did not paint that, but we have yeah, an artist. I certainly didn't. Yeah. Paint no, it. we have an artist in residence named Gayla Irwin who painted that of me. Um, really, really amazing. And um, we, it was auctioned off at our art auction, which okay. raises money for the school. And so generously, one of the parents bought it and then donated it back to my family. Mm -hmm. So it's now hanging in my living room. But it was just the sweetest thing ever for her to paint it and then for that parent to do that. That's great. Now, what's this? Uh? It's of her painting it. It's the same one. Okay, same great. One, yeah. Now, this one I want to take a few moments because, you know, most people never speak in front of the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> and you did it at what age, roughly? I was 18. Wow, it's amazing. So here you are. I believe you're at, you're, I guess you're in D.C. What's yes. going on with this picture? And then I'm going to ask you to kind of explain for a moment to the audience your experience of what it was like. Yeah, so this is during my speech. To be fair, it was not in front of the Supreme Court justices, um, right, but it was in right. front of the physical Supreme Court building. Um, so but it was you're during. <laughs> That's right. pretty huge. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was one of the best. And explain of my, why my you're there, just yeah. in case the audience didn't so, hear the bio. As most people probably know, you know, uh, Kentucky was one of the very last states to pass marriage equality in the mm -hmm. country. And so um, I wrote an amicus brief to the Supreme Court, which is basically just like a letter from a constituent saying, this is why. Okay. Um, I think you should, you know, rule one way on this decision. Mm -hmm. um, and I have two moms. Um, I always joke I'm a Mexican vegetarian feminist with gay parents in Kentucky, so I'm always like a, a little weird there. Um, but I, you know, have eclectic two, is what they eclectic, call it. Right? Yeah, yeah, I have two really incredible moms, and you know, of yeah. course, believe that anybody who loves each other should be able to get married. Um, and so, what that speech was is just me telling our family story um, at the Supreme Court in order to encourage people, you know, to, for me it was two things. One, to encourage the justices, of course, to pass marriage equality, mm -hmm. but also to sort of give a different uh, example of what Kentuckians look like, what they sound like, what they are, um, to what my, m people uh, might see on TV otherwise. So it was an awesome, great. awesome moment. And uh, for those that like Frasier, yeah. <laughs> you're here with David Hyde Pierce, the actor. Now, what yes. is this, some event out in California, I'm guessing? So I, the, the reason I was able to do that speech was the Family Equality Council, oh, an okay. amazing um, policy organization. Mm -hmm. And so I also spoke at their gala that year. Um, okay. They're really amazing, do great work, and, and they great. were why I was able to do it. Now, this is the youth panel. I forget the name of it. Yes, uh, that was at the Association of Fundraising Professionals okay. event. Um, so these are other amazing young people um, who are also being honored That's there. Great. Um, I talked way too fast, like usual, at this event. So I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying fast? to remember. No, I don't notice that. Yeah, no, I'm trying not to do that. But, but yeah, you. that's what now, I remember going on that here? night. What? Oh, um, that was um, in high school. I had the really awesome opportunity to work um, with University mm -hmm. of Louisville to do some scientific research. I actually found out that that was not my forte, but they helped me learn a lot. Um, yeah. And so that was that was at the end of That's that great. program. <laughs>